Right, hello and welcome back to Serious About Salvage and another video on the channel. So today we're just going to dive into it and we're going to try and get all the dashboard swapped over in this Audi Q3 S line. So we've got the dashboard, we've got airbags, we've got curtain airbags, the whole lot. So I'm hoping, yeah, get the whole of the interior sorted out, seat belts, like I said, curtain airbags, all dashboard, driver's airbag, passenger airbag. Airbag ECU, which I've already sent off to my guy Scott, airbagreset.com, so check him out if you're needing any airbag ECUs reset. That is ready to go in. We've got our seat belts, driver's airbag, passenger airbag, complete dashboard. Looks to be in excellent condition. So we're ready to, um, to get this done. So I will just show you quickly where the um, airbag ECU is on this car. When I there it is. So I like I said I removed it a few days ago. I got it sent off to make sure that it was back for today. And it hides just down there. So quite an easy one to get to. This all you've got to do is remove a kick panel on both sides. No need to remove the centre console, and it's out. So as always with these dashboards, it's just a case of removing parts until it becomes loose and um, you figure it out as you go along. So I've just quickly taken the plates off the side of the dashboards and we'll be looking for screws like this. So the one there, that's going to take off this cover with this one there and then you're going to probably find fixings behind there. You're going to take steering wheel off, cowling off, clocks out all your vents, your stereo, your sat nav screen. Um, glove box, all these things usually unearth fixings behind them for your dashboard to fix to, you know, this steel work basically. So that's what we're looking for. So um, I'll butt in and out and just keep you up to date with what's going on. But also I'm going to put you on time lapse because you're all a little bit disgruntled that I didn't do it last time on the punto. So you can watch it on time lapse today. It's going to be somewhere around here so hopefully it makes for decent footage and i think we're just going to get on with it so let's get on get some stuff done because it's mightily cold and um i just want to get it done basically but what well, as always especially when working with airbags make sure you disconnect your battery i'm going to do that now um before i start and then uh, i'll just crack on and yeah Let's see how we can get on with it.
Okay, so we're out. So that's taken about an hour to get that dashboard out. Um, yeah, it wasn't. It didn't go straight forward. I'll tell you that. It was interesting. Uh, but yeah, well, it's out anyway, and that's that's the main thing. So we've just got to basically get the other one back in now, haven't we? It's as simple as that, really. Uh, anything really to tell you about? I managed to get it out with the tens console in place, but it was a damn big struggle. And the reason why I haven't taken it out is because of this armrest is bolted into the floor. And I just can't figure out how the hell you're supposed to get to the fixings for it. Basically. But I took the steering wheel off, I took uh, the stalks off, the cowling off. Uh, just for that extra room, which you do need. And yeah, it's a pain, but they always are these dashboards, they're always a nightmare. But you just gotta get on with it and do it. So, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So yeah, let's just crack on, get the dashboard back in, because we've still got the seat belts and the, and the curtain airbags to do yet, so plenty to do. Let's just keep on motoring. Right, we're done, we've got it in. That was hard work, I think it was harder putting the new one in, in all fairness. But it's in and it looks good. So really happy with that. Um, steam wheel airbags in, dashboard, passenger airbag. I've even put the airbag ECU in. Everything's tight, centre console's back in tight. Yeah, it's done, the dashboard's done. So we're going to move on to the curtain airbags next and that's because I've got some covers still off deliberately you know so I can still get to the curtain airbags so they're tucked up in here I need to have a look at it to see how they're um, fastened in and uh, they're usually pretty quick easy jobs curtain airbags um, so let's see how this one goes. I'll again try to put you in a position where you should be able to see a little bit of something. Um, and yeah, let, let's let's just keep going. Like I said, I want to get all this interior dusted off today in this video. I think it's half two now, so we need to motor on. Let's keep on with it.
Right, so that's one curtain airbag in. You can see it up in there. I'd forgotten how much of a faff these were actually to get out. The main issue is they have these little metal pin plugs up into draw the steel work behind here and they're a nightmare to get out. I bet there's a tool, I bet there's a fancy tool that you put in them holes there and it gets them out easy but I don't have it. <laughs> so a screwdriver and a hammer. Um, doesn't matter at the end of the day, they're knackered anyway out they're the old ones. There's the old um, activator, whatever you want to call it, explosive device. Uh, so I'll put the, I'll put the uh, roof lining up at some point um, off camera. But now I'm going to get on with the other side, the other curtain airbag, get this one done. And then we're going to move on to the seat belts. Seat belts are solid passengers anyway. Let's check the drivers. I know they're both blown. They, I've said this before, generally. It's free, but I bet it's blown. Generally, when you look for an airbag kit on eBay, whatever that kit comes with is generally what will go on these cars in one go. So um, obviously the curtain airbags didn't come with the dashboard. So that tells me that generally curtain airbags don't go on them. But this must have sensed a side impact. I bet it put the car sideways. I bet they ran in, like when it arrived, it looked like it had gone into the back of a wagon, but like the, the back corner. So I bet it's hit the corner and it's brought the car around and that, that sideways motion has set the uh, curtain airbags off. Maybe, no, we don't know. We'll never know, but that's my theory. So I'll have a wrestle now with this other one, get this other curtain airbag done and then all we've got is the seat belts to do and we've accomplished what we set out to do today. So let's keep going. Okay, so I've done the passenger seat belt and I thought I'd try to show you the driver's side, just what's going on over here. So obviously I've taken the covers off and this, this would have been fastened in to the bottom, right down there. All my other fixings are loose. This is the one that holds in your actual mechanism. You just unplug the plug. Again, I've undone, I've done, I've, no, I've taken the, what's the word? I slackened off, <laughs> I slackened off the fixings to make it faster. And that one as well there, so that you can pull that out. And then you just, Hook it out of that, pull the seatbelt out. It's as simple as that, really. There's nothing to these seatbelts. And we'll put the new one in, just to prove the easiness. So they do have a little keyway for that. So all we do is offer that in like that, like so. Get our bolt. Um, spline fixing. It's on reverse, obviously. I will tighten it all up after, but for the purpose of the video. Let's do it as quickly as we can. So pull it up, make sure your belt's flat, slide it behind this bracket. This is a bit easier said than done with one hand. Ah, oh, come on. Like so. And then at the top, you got your other spline fixing when I find it. It's down here somewhere. It's run away. It's run away. Where's it gone? Oh, I found 20p. 
Once we've got this one though, we've got this little fix in. I was back in there. In fact, but it's in the other. No, it's not in the old seat belt. Come on. That's gonna go in there. Where's the other seat belt fixing gone? Hmm. Oh, there it is. This is what I'm looking for. This one's gonna go. In the top. So, as simple as that. And then once them three are tight, your covers go back on, and then you simply just bolt that down there, and job done. Very easy seatbelt to do. Right, well uh, we've done it, we've got it all done. All the interior is now back together. All the dash, curtain airbags, um, seat belts, all the roof linings up. I think what we'll do is we'll get some power to it, check it all and it'll give us a bit more light inside, won't it? Um, so we need power ratchet with 10 mil. And um, put the battery back on. And fingers crossed, nothing blows up. I think I undid this one as well earlier. Yep, I did. So that's them back on. Come on. There we go. So we should have some power back to the car now. Looks like some lights are on. Yep, that's some power. And um, it's time to stand back. <laughs> and make sure you're not in the way of anything in case something does go. Uh, obviously, it shouldn't. But It's all on. Reset steering angle sensor again. Yeah, there we go. So we have still got dashboard light on. I mean dashboard light, um, airbag light. Tire pressure you can't reset until um, you're driving. But as you can see, everything's in. So we're going to have to plug this scanner in and see what it's not happy about. I think it's the best bet. So, uh, also just quickly, we have a few casualties. I broke the top off the armrest, so I need to get the new top for that. And I broke a fin on that vent, so I need to get a new little vent. Uh, well, uh, everything's working. Yep. Yeah, everything works. So, yeah, I'll get the scanner, get it plugged in, and I'll come back to you in a minute when um, we've got some results and see if we can get rid of these uh, last couple of lights. Right, well, like an absolute buffoon, I left the scanner in the RS5 on, so it's flat, so I need to let it charge. Um, so that's going to be it. I can't check that light right now. I will check it once I've got some charge in it and um, if there's anything that needs to be done, I'll make sure I've got it. So we've got it for the next video on this Q5, Q5, Q3, but I'm glad that's all done. I don't, I don't like doing dashboards. They're 
boring and horrible job and uh, it's out of the way and done with so I just need to get on with this front end now um, get that little bit of pipe sorted out and then we can put the front end on and this car's a good one it's a good one so yeah I've got another car in the background there absolute steal that car I do believe that's probably the best deal I've ever got um, so that'll be coming to the channel soon I'm not going to spoil any um, surprises right now but look out for that and yeah the RS5 um, you'll find out about that at some point <laughs> so done yes thank you as always for watching really appreciated don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one cheers